said hello. It's really nice. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Kathy, for those introductions. I really appreciate it. Uh, very honored by the presence of so many elected officials and candidates, soon to be elected officials, uh, who are working hard to get there. It's not the easiest time in our history to step up and do public service. I think we can all probably agree on that. Um, so thank you all for doing it. But we both come from places uh, where people are used to doing things that are hard, right? Pittsburgh and Wilkes-Barre and Scranton, this whole region, uh, we have a lot in common. People, our, our communities grew based on the willingness of people to do hard things. Uh, and in both places, the workers who actually did that work were willing to shed blood for the rights of themselves and also fellow workers everywhere, union and non-union. And they made advances, they made it so that all that hard work actually paid off into something. Uh, they did it by organizing and by striking, but also by voting. The unions registered voters everywhere. They always did. Union and non-union, working families, any, everywhere. We used to have a deal in this country. You voted, and strength on election day meant that things really could get better on payday too. And so it really was the votes of working people that brought fair labor laws and required safer workplaces and raised the minimum wage, established Social Security and Medicare, even ended Jim Crow laws and segregation and secured the right to vote for everyone. That was the result of working people voting.